Eventide's newest reverb plugin is a recreation of their SP2016 hardware. Now, it's intuitive, easy to use, and it sounds fantastic. It's got all the basic reverb parameters we're used to working with, pre-delay, decay, diffusion, and a mix knob. And there's even a mix lock button so that we can lock this in place when we're auditioning through different presets, of which there are many here. Now, it's also got a position control, which is unique, and it's used to move the listening position from front to back of the simulated room. So it's kind of like changing between the early reflections and the late reflections, but it really affects the quality of the reverb nicely. Now, there's three different modes. We have stereo room, room and plate, and we have vintage and modern, the difference being that modern works at a higher bit depth and it's kind of more diffuse sounding. And I think they're so different that it's kind of like having six different algorithms. I've got it on a lead vocal now, and I'm going to show you what it sounds like. There's also a two-band EQ to subtly influence the tail. And here I'm thickening it up to get a nice richer low end and cutting the high. So I got a thicker kind of warmer vocal reverb. Hey, boy, let me tell you what I need. A splash of color and the road in front of me. Let's drop the top because we're never so I can influence it the opposite way where I'm cutting the lows and boosting the highs if I want a brighter reverb. Hey boy, let me tell you what I need. I don't want a that. A splash of color and the road and... And the vintage and modern sounds so different that to me they're like separate algorithms. I'll switch between them as it's playing and you'll hear how much brighter the modern version is. Hey boy, let me tell you what I need. A splash of color and the road in front of me. Let's drop the top, cause we're never gonna stop, we'll do it, yo. Brighter and more diffuse. Here I've got the modern room algorithm on a drum kit, and here's what it sounds like dry. And with it. Listen as I move up the position, how we hear the drum kit getting farther away from the actual reflections. more natural sounding. If I want more of a diffuse sound. So again, very natural sounding. Here I've got the vintage plate on a lead guitar and the vintage plate mode doesn't give us access to these parameters. So let's listen to this dry where it's got a bit of delay on it and then I'll bring this in. I'm with it. I'm gonna switch to modern. Maybe I can position it farther away. kind of works nicely. That really helps it sit back in the mix a bit more. So that's the SP2016 from Eventide, and this is Eli Kranzberg for Logic Pro Experts signing out.